Hello, Forex board members, everyone that's online, welcome. Uh, we're going to be starting our very exciting webinar about what a Forex programmer should know, conducted by the very the very best Vlad Sipos. He's a, an expert Forex programmer. Um, he's here with us. Hi, Vlad. How are you, man? Hello, I am great excited about the webinar. Great, great. Um, we have a good attendance. Um, we're very happy for all, uh, all of you joining us right now. So we're going to get started. Uh, the topic we have for today is about programming. So it's a little bit more focused towards the intermediate towards uh, advanced traders, but uh, beginners can benefit a lot from hearing about uh, all of this information, so you start getting it in your heads. Um, let's pass to the next, next slide. Um, this is our uh, disclaimer. We have it on most of our videos. Uh, we, we want to remind you that the information we share here is for educational purposes only. So keep, 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 keep that in mind and uh, enjoy the webinar. Uh, Vlad, take it away. Hello everyone. I am interested if you can hear me. So if I need to talk louder, please tell me. If not, we will uh, go on with the with the presentation. You can uh, write in uh, in the questions tab to your right, everyone. Paul says that he can hear me. Anyone else? Today the webinar will not be conducted by Kiro. It will be conducted by Glad. Okay, Ted, I will talk a little louder. Dennis, what do you mean by distorted? Okay, great. Okay, uh, so. I'm listening to Vlad pretty clearly. Most of you can hear me quite good. I can see here that Miguel and uh, Dennis cannot hear me very, very good. Ah, okay, so yeah, my voice is okay. Your voice, Camilo, is a little distorted. Okay, um, I think we should start and if we have problems, we'll see on the way. Okay. So my name is Vlad Shipos. I am a programmer and forex trader from Romania. I started programming in 2008 in C++, fell in love with uh, coding and uh, kept doing ever since. In 2003 and 13, I learned about trading, liked it very, very much and uh, saw the possibility to combine uh, trading with uh, with programming and in 2014 I started uh, writing expert advisors after I learned a lot of things about about the markets. Before I started programming EAs I uh, traded manually and uh, I lost my first account in about three months. I don't I know that you guys don't want to to hear about this but you will also lose money in the in the markets so most of the traders that I know have uh, lost their first account or almost lost it uh, in in the first few months of, uh, of trading but if you keep oh. on trading Sorry? How does this happen? How do you lose an, uh, 
account if you can explain to the beginners here. How did I lose my first account? I was not organized. I uh, didn't know how to contain myself, let's call it that. So I was very excited, I thought I knew everything and started trading a lot. And uh, I made profits in the beginning, but then I kept trading more and more and more, didn't uh, consider my risk, my money management, and, and in the end I uh, lost my account in about three trades because I didn't want to close them, I kept thinking they will turn up, they will turn up, and they never did. And those trades emptied my account. So please keep in mind this, you always have to uh, assess yourself because it's very important. Trading uh, is also about your psychology. So be always have a clear mind when when you trade. Okay, moving on to the next slide. What is the future of automated trading? I uh, I saw that uh, you guys were asking if MT4 will disappear. I don't know about disappearing for MT4. What I do know about MT4 is that it is the uh, most widely used platform for retail traders. So most of retail traders use MetaTrader 4 because it's very easy to use. It's uh, simple, clean, and you don't have to be an expert to, to use it and also to code it. Also, the documentation for MetaTrader 4 is very extensive and you can find a lot and a lot of examples online for programs, expert advisors, indicators. So, you, I don't think that it will disappear in the near future. But Actually, that's one of the, the reasons why most of our courses you know, in MetaTrader 4 is because of all of those reasons you are explaining right now. And it's very easy to learn programming in MetaTrader 4. Be uh, the reason is because it's very, very simple. Other platforms are quite complicated. Uh, some other platforms they exist, some traders use them, more professional traders after a few years, five to ten years, they switch from MetaTrader 4 because it's not enough for them, but a lot of them will keep using MetaTrader 4 because they are accustomed to it and they give them everything they need. So other platforms that you can use there right. are uh, wait, wait, um, uh, we're having some questions. Um, why is MetaQuote not going to support MetaTrader 4 anymore? Do you know about this? I don't know about this. I will That's search for it right. and answer you in, uh, in the Forex group, okay? Okay, so that, that question is going to be uh, answered later. And the other question we got is, uh, will it be replaced by MetaTrader 5? As a free platform, you can use MetaTrader 5 or CTrader. In the end, MetaCodes, yeah, they will replace MetaTrader 4 with MetaTrader 5. But I don't think that it will be anytime soon, so you will still be able to use MetaTrader 4. Okay, but okay. I will uh, research this and uh, talk to MetaCodes about it and come up with, uh, come back to you with, uh, with the answer in the Forex group, okay? Great, thanks. Okay. 
so other platforms, there are a lot of them online. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. Uh, some of the free ones are uh, MetaTrader 5 and the CTrader that I have personally worked with. They are still uh, fairly simple, so not a lot of uh, options, not uh, very hard code. And there are uh, also some other platforms from specific brokers that uh, the broker has developed for the best uh, interaction with their liquidity. Here you can see some of them, but I won't be talking about uh, them because most of you, if not all of you, use MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5. So moving on to another platform that has recently appeared and uh, it's uh, spreading slowly and most to, to institutions because they have a lot of money to invest in this is uh, API, API trading, so fix API and uh, custom code. But there is a problem with, uh, with this, and the problem is that you need a lot, uh, a lot more money for, for opening the account using uh, trading with API. And the programming is quite complex, and it takes a lot of time. So these are the main reasons why only institu mostly institutions with a large capital and uh, big teams of developers uh, are using this platform for algorithmic trading and uh, and that's it because you cannot trade manually with API only if you create your own custom built platform which I don't see a reason why you would uh, on the plus on the plus side and this is these are the main reasons why institutions use this platform is that you get very little execution time and you connect directly to the liquidity. I will explain a little bit more about uh, this later on in the presentation. Uh, API is uh, mostly combined with dedicated servers. Dedicated server is uh, a server that uh, you can rent or you can buy and uh, it will run non-stop for you. And it's a very good tool for traders because, like I said, you can have your EA run nonstop, so you can make uh, money even in your sleep. And you can get servers collocated with your broker. So you reduce your execution time, and execution time is closely related, re <coughs> related to your slippage. So for uh, scalpers, if you use scalping systems, you can use a dedicated server because it will increase your profits, most likely, or your losses, depending on your system. We have more questions, Vlad. Yeah, I saw um, that now. Okay. Have you come across any retail platform that includes L2 data? Uh, Rhythmic has uh, level 2 data but I don't know if it's a, an option for you. And I'm not sure about this, but it's also a possibility that uh, multicharts.net also supports uh, level 2 data. Also, IC markets and FXCM allow trading with API starting with $0 or even demo. Okay, but... Uh, I would not suggest it because if you invest in developing your custom fixed API trading system, it will take you a lot of time. I'm doing it now and it's very complex. And if you don't have a lot of money, there is very little point to do this. So. The minuses surpass the, the pluses for, for this platform. What is a good place to start with automated trading? Um, 
I don't understand this question. A good place. Can you please explain it a little, Johan? Also, is a dedicated server a VPS? Uh, yes. The whole server, not only a virtual private server, which is a VPS. A VPS is only a part of the server, which uh, to explain this, so you, you have a server that can run multiple uh, virtual machines on it, which is a VPS. Uh, Johan, a good place, books or websites? I would say websites for me because on a website you can search and to get the uh, actual answer that you are looking for. Moving on with, uh, with the presentation, if you have questions, I will take a break later again to, to answer the questions. Okay, I was at dedicated servers. So, uh, running a dedicated, uh, your system on a VPS will, like I said, will reduce your execution time, which is closely related to your slippage. Uh, because if you reduce your execution time, you will also reduce your slippage. If you don't know what slippage is, please uh, say so and I will explain it. Otherwise, we'll move on. Uh, prices for these VPSs are from $20 to $1,000 depending on, uh, on what you need to run it for. Uh, I can run my systems even on $20, even more complex systems. But if you want to run more instances and a lot of uh, trading systems, I would suggest you go for a more premium version of a VPS. Okay. Moving on. Uh, this is the structure of the MetaTrader 4 system. So you see here that it's, it has a lot of things in it, but most of us only use the trading. So everything else is not very, very good for us because it uh, makes our execution slower. So for scalpers, if you want better execution, you should I advise you very, very hard to uh, get your own VPS for $20 a month. I don't think that it's, uh, it's expensive, it's quite cheap, and uh, you will reduce very much your execution time. And uh, this is what API does. So MetaTrader 4, you have your algorithm and you go to through your MetaTrader 4 installed on your computer, but and then uh, it uh, connects you to the MetaTrader 4 server, which connects you to the liquidity. What an API will do is connect you directly to the liquidity. So you see here that you bypass everything else that slows slows you down and you connect uh, directly to, to the liquidity provider for better execution and for little uh, execution time. Okay, another uh, question would be, is algorithmic trading a uh, full-time job or is it a hobby? Uh, I will start this explanation with two examples. This, uh, this is my account, which was traded as a hobby. It was a bonus $50 account, and I wanted to see if I can make that $50 account uh, into something, so if I can trade manually on $50. As you can see, I can. 
and uh, if you have experience and know how to trade you will be able to also but it's not constant I lost uh, over 50% of the accounts I lost almost 50% when I started here so yeah then there were profits but those profits were with a lot of risk so I risked uh, emptying my account in just one trade which is uh, not a uh, good practice for trading I will uh, show you also an example for an account that I uh, traded full time full time meaning that I took into account all the parameters of my strategy and uh, the results are quite different because the profits are more constant the drawdown on this account was 5% and uh, the profits were big so it was 20 about 24% in a month so this is uh, the difference for me for me between uh, hobby or full time job both of them have profits but the full time job has uh, has a lot of has more benefits let's let's say say it like this i see i have another question here given the strategy quant strategies generator software why would one try to develop his own strategies uh, miguel i never used that strategy quant strategies generator because I don't understand those strat those strategies so it's I don't know how to put this simply but you don't know what's behind those strategies so you don't understand how uh, your strategies work how uh, the market affects your strategy so I for one will not use it even now with a lot of experience because there are a lot of things there that I don't understand and you should always fear what you don't understand I hope this yeah oh, you're welcome this answers your question as a difference for uh, algorithmic trading when I started I did algorithmic trading as a hobby I made uh, money by this from clients from freelance websites and uh, the profits were small so it was only as a boost to my to my actual income couldn't really use those strategies for myself because most, for the most of them I didn't understand them there were client requests and I didn't understand how they uh, work for actual markets and then I decided to, to do this as a full-time job seeing that a lot of clients wanted uh, more complex EAs I wanted to understand what those EAs were about and I could only do this over a long period of time doing, is, doing it as a hobby a few hours a week and I didn't want to waste that time by doing uh, doing something else also so I decided to to do it as a full-time job and right now I program EAs for myself for about four, four to five hours a day and I program EAs for clients for about three to four hours a day and uh, there's also a big difference in my income and in the quality of the strategies I develop because I understand those strategies, I know all the math behind them I understand how uh, the markets can affect those strategies so I can make uh, bigger profits and consistent profits since I did this my profits about tripled yeah something like that so I hope I also explained the difference between the hobby and the full-time job and for me it was quite a, quite a big difference 
Moving on. To... I would say that even though, even though if you don't take uh, algorithmic trading as a full-time job, you should still take it seriously and um, commit to following through your plan. So that even if it's, if, if it's a hobby, you're learning and uh, imp uh, improving your abilities as a, a trader and not just doing it lightly. Uh, even if it's a hobby, or if you're putting your money, you should take it seriously. That's what I think. Yes, yes, of course. So. I did take it seriously even when it was a hobby, but I didn't uh, invest as much time into it as uh, as I do now. So I couldn't really understand uh, a lot of things from uh, strategies to market reaction and uh, how to combine my strategies to certain markets. This is why I uh, move to, to the full-time job for me to be able to understand it and uh, when you will decide to do it as a full-time job even if you realize it or not your commitment and your implications will be uh, bigger because you actually depend on this so if you succeed then you will also make profits because you don't have a salary so nobody pays your salary anymore and uh, if you do not, then you will have to quit it and start looking again for a job, which I don't uh, believe is an option for for you if you decided to do it as a full-time job. So when you decide to make this this shift, uh, you should be very very sure about your capabilities to actually make profits by this, and also have a very, very uh, fine, defined uh, passion for it. Okay. Moving on now to programming the financial markets. Here I try to answer some of your questions. But uh, also at the end, uh, please answer me questions so I can uh, I can answer them because we will have uh, time at the end to to answer your questions. So uh, one of your questions was algorithmic strategies other than simple systems that were covered in the online classes. Some of them uh, are. Uh, uh, fundamental. So I did uh, last year an EA for a uh, trader from Serbia, which was very, very experienced in fundamental analysis, and he gave me an Excel. This Excel is still Chinese for me today, so never knew Chinese. Maybe I will understand it someday, but I still don't understand that Excel. It's very complex and it has a lot of things in it. But uh, that guy did uh, more profits trading fundamentally than I did trading uh, technically. So I'm learning fundamental trading and I'm trying to combine my fundamental and technical analysis for, for uh, better result. The, the second statement I showed you also contained some uh, fundamental uh, analysis for uh, bigger profits. So this would be one example. Other examples would be news trading strategies. Uh, it's harder to, to code uh, these strategies but they will also give you more profits in the end. Another example would be arbitraging strategies. I know that uh, most brokers don't allow arbitrage, but there are some that do, 
and you can make uh, pretty pretty nice profits uh, by arbitrage. Some others don't come to mind right now, but you you will be able to find them if you search online for them. There are a lot of algorithmic strategies out there that uh, that you can code. You also asked uh, EA logic programming based on price action and not indicators. I saw that here you meant by uh, analyzing candles and uh, how price behaves at certain levels. My opinion about this is that all indicators, not maybe not all, but most of the indicators you use are also price action because uh, most indicators analyze the price to give you the, the output that uh, you you see and uh, that you can interpret. So most of trading for retail traders is actually based on price alone. And uh, these price-based strategies will not make consistent profits in the long run. So I still do them, I code them, I trade by them, but I change them very, very often. Because I know that it will not work indefinitely, and uh, I'm also always searching for new price-based strategies that I can implement in my EAs and that I can trade manually. And uh, not always, but in 99% of the cases, I uh, test the strategy first manually, if I think that uh, it will make profits. And only then, if I see the, the good results in manual trading, I will code the actual algorithm for that strategy. Because if I cannot trade it manually, that means I don't understand it. And if I don't understand it, I cannot program it. I see we have uh, another question here. If you had to focus on one of the following within an EA, which would it be? Money management, signals, trade management. All of them. <laughs> Always all of them. You cannot focus on one and completely disregard the others. You will always have to focus on money management because you, so you don't over trade, so you don't open positions with uh, more money than you can actually lose. Uh, don't open too many positions and at one time. Also, you will have to have pretty good sin signals to enter the trade. Otherwise, you don't know what you're doing, so you might also be trading blindfold blindfolded. And trade management, you should always know when to close the trade. Because if you don't, you can lose money. I have... Uh, here in, in Romania, I have a lot of friends that are traders. And uh, there was a discussion between them last year because uh, one of them always, uh, not always, but uh, in a lot of the cases closed his trades before they hit take profit or stop loss uh, because that was better for his strategy. And another uh, didn't. So if the uh, the trade was uh, one pip from hitting his take profit. He didn't matter. He didn't uh, secure the trade, so place his stop loss on zero on a one point profit, and uh, he took more stop losses. But his uh, strategy worked better without uh, without uh, managing. So. You have to to see which uh, which is better for your strategy, but you should always keep that in mind and uh, use use it. 
Let's say I create a strategy and the preliminary back tests are okay. Where could I test, optimize it with Monte Carlo scenarios for both one instrument and portfolios? MetaTrader strategy tester seems very limited. I don't seem to find any software where I can import uh, the MQ4 code and perform tests. Back test state statements are useless, particularly for strategies with no stop loss. This I don't know the answer to because I never did perform a Monte Carlo analysis on, uh, on my trading. But I will also find, uh, find the answer to this question and uh, give you the answer to it. A uh, former colleague of mine uh, used it because he developed a portfolio trading algorithm, so he needed to use it. I will get the answer for him. I know it was for MetaTrader 4, so I will get the answer for, from him and uh, give, it, give it to you also on the Facebook group. Okay, Miguel? Okay, and what does price action mean? Candle size, candle close. Uh, price action is analyzing the the candles, but Sven, you can find out more about this on the internet. I will not uh, get into this right now. If you want, uh, write me on on Facebook, and I can give you links to to price action analysis and courses. Okay. You could ask this question within the Facebook group, and uh, that way ev uh, everyone can get the answer also. Yeah, yeah, that would be better. Thank you. Okay. Moving on. Uh, have here a uh, difference, so you can see that uh, the statement from the top, it's not an actual statement, but the graph from the top made uh, profits, so these this are a lot of EAs that made profits combined together and placed in backtesting for a few years, and uh, they made uh, pretty decent returns and constant. When uh, when the guy uh, moved the strategy on uh, live, so he placed it on a live account, the results you can see them in the bottom uh, in the bottom uh, graph are not so good. It didn't even break even. So it lost money during over a year. So from 2015 to 2016. You have here an actual result from for the difference between back testing and uh, forward testing. When you factor in commission, slippage, and uh, you take out overfitting, uh, your strategy is uh, more likely to lose money. So if you want a strategy to, if you want to test a strategy to see if it actually makes money in forward testing, uh, what I do for this is uh, trade it manually. So I understand how to code uh, code the uh, strategy for the particular market, how the market behaves, and uh, only after that I uh, I code the actual uh, the actual EA for for the strategy after I know what I'm dealing with. Uh, is there any difference really between Core MT4 software for MetaTrader4.com and broker provided 
MetaTrader 4 software. I don't know the answer to this question because I didn't try to open up MetaTrader 4 and see the differences, but I did test this and uh, I found out that uh, a broker platform in some cases uh, will execute trades faster than the general uh, software from metatrader4.com. So I found out that uh, there is a difference in execution because some brokers will tinker the metatrader 4 to better connect to, to their servers. So you have lit, uh, your execution time is smaller and uh, also your ping, so you receive prices faster. Other differences uh, would be custom indicators that come with, uh, with the platform when you get it from, uh, from your broker. Some brokers give you custom indicators and expert advisors. Okay, moving on to the last question. Algorithmic strategy resources or where to get new strategy ideas. Uh, there are a lot of websites where you can get this. Mm. Just search online and uh, you will see Investopedia has a lot of them. The internet is filled very, very uh, much with trading strategies and new ideas for new strategies. Also for with uh, actual EAs that have been running for a while on live accounts for backtesting. So just Google it and you will you will find a lot of ideas and a lot of results for this. And now it's time for questions. So please ask me any questions that you have regarding this topic, these topics that we discussed today. I think people have, have been asking questions pretty diligently during the whole webinar. So, okay, great. Yeah. How do we watch? Um, let me get back to you, Rick, with that that question. Uh, they are all uh, up, uh, available. If you don't have questions about what we discussed already, maybe you have different questions that I didn't answer during the webinar. I would be pleased to answer those also. Where can a beginner forex trader get more info on MQL trading? On the forex group, ask, ask questions and I will answer them. Uh, Rick, um, if you're a, if if you have a trader membership, you can find them within the website. Um, but this is not a question about the uh, uh, forex programming for for Vlad. So if if you want, we uh, we can discuss about it later. Do you guys have any more questions about forex programming for Vlad? So, uh, there we go. Vlad, there's a question. You mean you only use price action to find the trading opportunity without using other indicators? I don't do this, but it's a possibility, yes. You can use, you can trade only based on price action. I know of traders that have been doing this for a long time, uh, and they are doing, they are doing it uh, quite profitably. 
But if you want to learn price action and if you want to trade price action alone, you will need a lot of experience because uh, uh, you need to see all the patterns and see how they behave on the long run. Okay. How did you learn to program MetaTrader 4? Just a second, I'll ask the question. MetaTrader 4 EAs, what books, resources would you recommend? Um, this, this is a quite of a funny story for me, actually. I learned to program MetaTrader 4 when a friend of mine uh, said he will give me $1,000 if I code for him an expert advisor that will trade with zero profit. So I did that. <coughs> Opened the MQL4 uh, um, uh, having Open the MetaCode set software, like, let's call it that, and uh, hit F1 for help and started coding it. That's how I learned. When I had uh, problems that I couldn't find there, I, would, I uh, went online and uh, just typed those questions in, on Google and it gave me a lot of answers. So that's how I learned MetaTrader 4. Approx, what monthly percent return will your best EA achieve consistent over, say, a year or two? This, this will actually blow your mind if I tell you this, but it will make in a year about 1,000%. How do I contact you for the previous webinar recordings? Rick, please talk to, to Camilo about this on the Forex group. If you're a member or not, uh, Camilo will answer this later on, OK? Have you uh, yeah, tried? Rick, you can look for my name within the Facebook uh, group. I'm Camilo. Um, just send me a private message and I'll uh, get back to you with that. Have you tried uh, sentiment-based algo trading? Yes, I have, but I combined it with uh, fundamental analysis and uh, technical analysis, a little bit of uh, neural networks. So yes, I have. And uh, it makes profits if you know how to how to code it. At first, it made losses, but after working a little bit more on that code, it made profits. Is it possible to automate a multiple strat frames, a multi time frame strategy? For example, getting a signal from a Bollinger band on the H1, but actually taking the trade on M5. Yes, you can do this. You can get in your EA data from all time frames. Mm, I will not explain you how to do this here, but answer the question, ask the question on the Forex, Forex group, and I will answer it there, OK? Are there any sites with coding repository besides MQL4? I don't understand this question. Can you please uh, develop it a little, Ole? Zero profit, why? This is what he wanted. He made the money from uh, the, his introducing broker account. So the idea for the EA was uh, uh, trade a lot, so a very, very many trades and uh, with uh, starting with starting it small and then going up in in lot sizes and uh, he made a lot of profits from his introducing broker account 
please post your name here. Okay, for, scal for scalping normally it means trading in M1 or M5 time frame. How about longer time frame like H1 or H4? Which one will give consistent profits? For me, both of them work. I can trade, I have systems that uh, trade uh, M1 charts and I have system that trade uh, monthly and weekly charts. So I'm going from M1 to monthly, weekly and uh, all of them make profits. Not all of the systems, but I have systems that can make profits on all time, on uh, each and every time frame. Zero risk equals zero profit. No, zero risk does not equal zero. Well, yeah, zero risk equals zero profit because if you don't risk, then you cannot make profits. This is the question asked by Dennis. Yeah, so if you can only make profits trading the markets if you risk. If you do not risk, you cannot make profits in the, in the markets. Could you give us some idea how you combine fundamental analysis into an EA? Yes, I can give you, here it is, very simple, with Excel. So what, uh, what this does is uh, get data from Excel. You can read data from Excel in MetaTrader 4 and uh, create a, uh, a direction for the fundamental, which you can get it into your EA and you have the direction for, from your fundamental analysis and you combine it with your technical analysis. If they both uh, say the same thing, then you open the trade. So this would be a carry trade that you uh, can double up. Okay. Another question. So he was making money of the commission from being an introducing broker. Yes, Dennis, he was making money from the commission being an introducing broker. And when you trade a thousand lots per month with uh, commissions from for brokers start from one dollar to ten dollars per lot, you make pretty decent returns each month. Mm. I don't know if it's possible to get data from investing.com straight into MetaTrader 4. Never did try this, but it should be possible. Uh, I will have to look into this, Chris, but and ask also this question on the Forex group and I will give you an answer there, okay? Just have started programming in MQL4 and I would like to view different EAs, how they have programmed the EA. In this case, Ole, please search online because I will not share my actual EAs. Okay? It's, oh, yes, I remember, uh, now, yes, you can search them on uh, Forex Factory, uh, I think even Baby Pips has something like this, and uh, this comes to mind right now. So Forex Factory has a lot of EAs. Baby Pips is a little bit more on strategies than uh, than EAs. Okay. Talk about news trading EAs. 
how does your EA read actual versus expected data or listen to squawk audio? It doesn't do either of them. I have two versions for, for news trading. One of them is a forecaster with uh, pretty good accuracy. And uh, another one is uh, an EA that places pending orders right before the trade. The, sorry, it places uh, pending orders right before the news coming out. So when, uh, when the news comes out, it activates one of the two pending orders. But for this, you should only trade specific news that uh, move in, uh, in one direction. So they don't uh, go up and down and sideways and in circles. And you should research this because if you do this on all news events, you will lose money. So only specific news for news trading. Okay. We're gonna answer questions for two more minutes and then we're gonna wrap it up. So if you have anything in mind, uh, it's, it's the time right now. Mm, if I have anything in mind, I don't have anything in mind right now, but I see a few more questions. I'm gonna try to answer them very fast. Okay, do you know where you can find this example for EA for calculating money management using Kelly Criterion? Yes, you can find it on uh, the Forex Boat website in the courses. What do you think about using program code generator like Molanis instead of learning to program? I don't agree with this because you don't understand what you're actually doing and what the strategy is all about and how you can code the strategy for the markets. Thank you so much. I have my strategies now. Need to program them into EAs myself. You can do this very fast in MetaTrader 4, Ole. And uh, that's about it. Thank you very much, guys. And uh, further questions, please ask them in the Forex group, and I will answer them. Yeah, thanks guys. Uh, this webinar was pretty awesome. Uh, I love that you ask a lot of questions. Um, expect more webinars. Uh, if you have any more questions, like Vlad was telling you guys, don't doubt to use the resource uh, we provide for you, which is the uh, Facebook group. Um, we want that com uh, community to, to be very active and uh, the place to go for, uh, for anything you want to ask. So I think we can wrap it up right now. Um, thanks all of you for being here and until next time. And Vlad, thanks a lot for sharing your uh, knowledge. I'm sure it helped all of us. Uh, sorry, Camilo, just uh, Dennis. Ask this question also on the Forex Boat website uh, group on Facebook, and I will answer it, okay? Okay, go. Thank you, guys. Bye bye.